Number 29, a gas-cooled nuclear reactor operates between hot and cold reservoir temperatures of 700 degrees Celsius and 27 degrees Celsius. Letter A, what is the maximum efficiency of a heat engine operating between these temperatures? So basically, we just need the formula over here for a Kono engine, right? This basically relates the temperatures uh, and the efficiency. So it just says that the efficiency will be equal to 1 minus T, the temperature of the cold reservoir, divided by the temperature of the hot reservoir. We have to just simply plug in the values. This one's fairly straightforward, but remember, you need Kelvin temperatures. So, all right, so the temperature of the cold uh, reservoir here is going to be 27 degrees Celsius. So we're going to take 27 and then add the 273 to that. Divide it then by the hot reservoir, which is 700 degrees Celsius, and you got to add 273 to that. And then we can just simply calculate. All right, so this is, <clears throat> so let's do the fraction first. 27 plus then 273. Divided by then 700 plus 273, a fraction of about 0.3, and then 1 minus that, so it's going to be about 0.7 or so. So this will be 0 0.692 or so, 692, all right? And then if you needed to convert that into percent, obviously that's 69.2%. You can leave it though in terms of a decimal, I mean it really doesn't matter. And then, so that takes care of letter A, and then letter B. It says, find the ratio of this efficiency to the Carnot efficiency of the standard nuclear reactor. Right, this is the value from that problem. All you basically simply have to do is just take the ratio. All right, so we'll do the efficiency of the engine we just found. Right, so that's going to be 0.692. Divided then by, you got to do the efficiency now of the Carnot engine in that example. Remember, you have to be consistent, so this also will be in decimal form. You could have done them both in percent form as well. This doesn't matter because it's a simple ratio, but you got to keep it consistent, all right? So what do we get? We get about 1.45 here. So 1.45. So basically, right, the, uh, the nuclear reactor here is about 1.45 times as efficient as the other one in that example. So that's it. Simple. Guys, take care, all right? Appreciate it very much. Thanks for viewing. Tell your friends if this was helpful, and uh, yeah. Hit the like button too. Thank you. Take care.